Hey guys, um, this is my train station. I basically took Minecraft Bob and some other guys train stations and I put them together. And the way it works is um, you have arrivals and departures. So at arrivals you get out of your cart and at departures you choose a destination and all you do is you get in the cart. I've just put us on a chosen a test loop as the place we're going to. So test loop just takes us back to arrivals. Um, but the cart doesn't get whisked away, so you're not in a hurry or anything. You can kind of just sit here. And as soon as I get out, if I won't lag, uh, a booster will come pick up the cart, put it in the cart holder. Um, if you didn't notice, the departures, a new cart arrived as well. So there's a couple things going on here. There's three boosters, one to whisk you away, one to store your cart in the booster when you arrive, and one to supply new carts. Um, this is the arrivals booster. What happens is um, a person in a cart will depress a stone button, but a cart by itself will only depress a wood button. So these are wired up um, in such a way that when the wooden is pressed and not the stone, then the booster opens, and uh, it'll come take your cart away. Oh, and if you don't know how a booster works, uh, Minecraft Bob will explain to you, because that's how I've learned how boosters work. Um, that's the more complicated side as well. This side's much easier. Fraps, don't fail me now. I'm lagging. Um, this is your departures. So basically, if the wooden panel is not depressed, it means there's no cart. So if the wooden panel is not depressed, it's connected, or the wooden panel is connected to this booster. Um, this booster just goes around the, the cart thing um, and gets you a new cart. Now, the way the cart thing works, uh, it actually just shoots a cart into a brick wall and then they fall down. It's important to put this half step here. Um, if you don't have the half block step thing, then it'll pull two carts at a time, which is not what we want. Um, and then, of course, that's the wood button, but the stone button is hooked up to this, so as soon as we get in, we'll press the stone button, and this booster will come whisk us away to our destination. Um, I basically set up two switches that we can use to choose our destination. Um, the way this works... Ah. I'm stuck in my station. It's hard to move around when you're lagging. Anyway, this is kind of separate of the station, but equally important. This is where my departures line goes, and as you can see, the track splits off. So, the first switch, I have two switches back in the in the station that allow you to control where you go. The first switch through the underground is linked to this train bypass thing. Switch? I don't know and uh, it'll choose if you go left or right. And the second one is wired to both of these uh, pieces that come from the first piece and allow you to go left or right at each of those. And then the tracks just go off in their various directions to wherever. Um, these holes don't need to be here. I just wasn't wiring them correctly at first, uh, or I don't know how to do it. Um, these holes don't need to be here for wiring. I just learned that I didn't need them recently and haven't changed the station. Uh, these holes, I believe they do need to be here, but if someone can prove me wrong that would be awesome because these holes are really stupid. Um, basically what happening's happening here is there are two panels and below the stone panel I've put a wire and I can't put a wire below the wood panel or the wire below the stone panel and the wood panel will touch and that's not good so I've had to build a hole to get the wire in. Uh, all the wiring's obviously under the platform, except for maybe... Yeah, there's some wiring here that's not... I guess it's under. Um, and the wiring for the switches is under over there. Um, obviously you might not want to build a station for every single one of your endpoints. Uh, oh my god, I'm gonna break this thing. Yeah, I broke my track. It happens. You gotta push the cards back. That's fun. Don't break your tracks. It's annoying. Uh, my, it's a 
that. Okay, so just to show you, not all my endpoints are stations. Stations take a long time to build, and I only use them where it's important. Uh, so I built an example endpoint. Um, so, so that cart doesn't get in my way. This is what most of my endpoints look like. Um, so basically, you have to pick up your own cart and use it again later. But what happens is, it's just a single booster. Um, the downslope is important, otherwise you won't connect with the cart, the booster properly, or uh, and your cart will take off on you on a regular basis, which is frustrating. Um, but you just put your cart down, give it a push, and get in, and boost you back. Um, obviously, in single player, it's not a big deal. I just run one line between most of my places, um, and you go both ways on it, and then you can build switches to take you to the arrivals or the departures, depending on which way you're going. It's not too hard. Uh, cool. And uh, that's my station. Um, hopefully I did a good job of explaining it. Uh, cheers.